So you have worked in the field of strategic management and been a research scholar at IIM Rohtak, also and an assistant professor at Voxin. So what do you think, like, you know, uh, why has there been a need or why has there been a shift towards management education as a career option, even at the graduation level? Yeah, so this is a very, you know, pertinent question in today's time. Uh, what we see here um, is, see, first we have to understand when we talk about strategy, uh, essentially, there are three levels of strategy, right? Let me just briefly, uh, you know, touch upon them and then I'll extend it. Uh, sometimes uh, we see something called corporate strategy, which is applicable to a lar large organization, let's say like Hindustan Unilever, and they take a strategy. For example, they want to become, you know, more eco-friendly in next five years. So when we talk about this kind of strategy, this is a large corporate level strategy and typically the timeline for these kind of strategies are longer and top level management, the CEOs and CXOs of HUL are involved in this. At the next level, what we see is a something called business level strategy. So all these corporates, they have strategic business units which are focused towards you know certain part of business. For example, if we talk talk about again Hindustan Universe, there is a division for let's say personal care, soap, shampoos, so on and so forth. Right. Now the point is in those kind of business uh, division level strategy, what we see is certain strategies which are specific to certain product categories, not the entire organization. For example, HUL also have, let's say, quality ice cream or Pepsodent toothpaste. The kind of strategy that are applicable to, let's say, Peers or Dove is not applicable to Pepsodent or quality. Now, coming to the third and final level of strategy, which is called functional level strategy, meaning within the strategic business unit, there are functional teams like marketing team, HR team, HR, uh, uh, finance team, so on and so forth, right? Now, for those individual teams, there are certain responsibilities. For example, uh, let's say five years or uh, four years ago, uh, Dub was predominantly, you know, targeting women um, customers, not men. Now, then they came up with uh, Dub Men series as well as Dub Baby, uh, or they call it Baby Dub series. So, these are the kind of functional strategies which, within a business level, takes place, right? Now coming to your original question, why there is a need for, uh, you know, strategic management, even at uh, the bachelor's level. As we know, India is a growing economy, despite the COVID pandemic, the outlook for Indian growth story is of course positive. And more and more businesses will come, which means there will be more and more requirement for, you know, professionals, trained uh, workforce, who will join in this kind of large companies and they will manage certain strategies. At the entry level, most likely uh, the students, the attendees, when they complete their BBA, uh, uh, I'm assuming that since they are appearing for, you know, IPMAT, they are targeting IIM Indore, uh, Rohtak, uh, Bodhgaya, and other IIMs where, you know, uh, there is something called integrated programming management, right? So when they complete their education, they will probably join in those functional level strategies where they will be responsible, depending on their field of specialization, they will be responsible for managing certain strategic aspects within these multinational uh, companies, or even they join in startup, there are you know certain areas where they have to focus in. So overall, uh, if a candidate or you know their students are interested in uh, pursuing a career in business administration domain, it is essential to have a mindset to go for, you know, strategic management. So it is essential component, irrespective of what is your, uh, in, uh, you know, specialization or what is your interested domain, you have to keep your eyes and ears open towards have, having a, you know, strategic mindset. Yeah, so, so you mentioned about like, you know, whichever stream they choose. So what kind mm. of streams do one have as an option? You know, that too with like in the current situations, if you see everything mm. is changing from conventional, like no more only BCom is valid. You know, everyone's talking FinTech and all of these things. 
so hmm. when you come to a bba what kind of options does one have hmm. good so uh, there are some classic specializations like finance hr operations marketing you know these are uh, often we call them evergreen or you know classic kind of specializations on the other hand the business scenario is changing and to meet the change we have to update ourselves for example when as you mentioned uh, fintech or finserv financial services or financial technology so it is no more only about the financial aspects it is how you integrate technology into finance domain similarly it is no more about only marketing it is more about digital marketing or sometimes it's called you know um, all of us are now pretty much used to uh, e-commerce which was not the case seven eight years ago right amazon entered india in 2013 so before that flipkart was there for, since 20, 2007 but it was not that much so now by default we consider that okay let's see if it is available in online or otherwise we will go to big bazaar or other organized retail so then things like omni channel retailing comes into the place so my point is business is changing to uh, keep up with the change we have to have newer specializations and with that we have you know specialized domains such as that even at waxen university we have a specialization on data science and ai ml so because you know that is uh, where the future is heading to similarly as you mentioned about uh, you know fintech we have something called financial services which includes fintech and beyond that so these are uh, these are kind of augmented version of classic courses meaning let's take finance as a classic uh, specialization we try to focus on how technology is changing the scenario and we prepare our students uh, in that field so either way um, you know the options are good uh, if the students are more willing to uh, pursuing certain focused career they are welcome to do so on the other hand uh, if they want to pursue certain classic specialization of course they can go ahead with that as well uh Anisha, uh, I think I was yeah. on uh, mute. Yeah. So yeah, I was saying that you know we always hear about everyone is talking about comparing of programs the way it's in India and the way it is way it is abroad. Mm. So you know, have a lot of practical learning. So when mm. we talk about BBA and a graduation level, what kind mm. of practical uh, you know aspects should one aspire to learn in the graduation stream itself? Oh yeah, so this is very very important. So um uh, see essentially management is a part of social science right it is kind of different from physical sciences like physics chemistry so uh those who are from science background they will know about laboratory experiments right in chemistry lab we used to uh, make certain experiment in business the market is your lab when you try to come up with some idea and you want to test it you have to go to market and you have to identify how the consumers are perceiving perceiving it if they are uh, you know talking about certain pain points how you can address it how your change person can work so of course practicality has to be there now coming to how to integrate that within the course there are several ways in which we do it i have seen it in iim when i was a student there i see it here at waxen university when i am teaching it so either way uh, one of the major component is case study discussion so uh, we we uh, in every course in every you know subject there are multiple case studies which are discussed as a part of the course in order to better understand certain concepts or certain theoretical frameworks right how for example if we talk about something called triple bottom line which is a way to go for sustainability now we also read a case about coca cola how they are implementing it so this is in some way uh, uh, you know exposing the students towards the practicality of those theoretical frameworks number one number two there are several simulation games simulation uh, softwares which are regularly used in classrooms so that students can get an hands on experience for example those who will be interested in finance essentially they have to be good with trading now uh, 
at at the learning stage it's very difficult to handle lakhs and crores of rupees actual rupees so what you can do is you can use certain simulation softwares which are typically av available in institutes and you can uh, you know trade with dummy currency meaning you are not earning any real money you are not losing any real money but you are getting the feel of it so that is another way to, of doing it and the third part is internship so uh, in in uh, Watson, what happens is after the first year there is one month summer internship, and after the second year there is two years of summer internship, and it is pretty much uh, all other institutes follow the similar uh, practice. So while studying, students will join certain uh, organization and they will work in certain uh, you know projects and they will get some hands-on experience. So that is another way of learning. Apart from that, research projects, life projects, company projects keep on coming. 